Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to clean out your water brushes. Um, as you can see, I've got two different types here, the Derwent and the Pentel. Um, the Derwent was the first set I had. I moved over to the Pentel uh, after a while. I kind of wore the bristles out on these. Uh, so I thought I'd try the Pentel and actually the Pentel are a much more reliable brush, I find. Nothing wrong with the Derwents. Um, I did have the occasional puddle of water kind of come out of them and everything but um, apart from that they work okay but um, the pencils just seem to work a lot better but with all of these type of water brushes eventually you're going to need to do some maintenance on them you're going to need to actually strip them down and totally clean them out the water valve in there and the sponge that's in there I'll show you all that in just a minute um, so what I'm going to do I'm just going to demonstrate it just on one of the pencil um, water brushes um, because the Derwents are pretty much the same it's the same system more or less the same components it just looks different in there um, so I'll show you just on the Pentel so I'll just move these out of the way now what happened was um, I cleaned out all three of these brushes put them away in the drawer and thought that's fine you know they're they'll be fine in there there's gonna be no algae growing or anything like that um, and then a couple of days later I took one of the brushes out, filled it with water, used it um, for a painting and then I forgot, I, I left the water in there and I put it back in the drawer. And it sat in the drawer for quite a while and I completely forgot it had water in there. And what had happened was algae had started to grow on the sides and things were floating in the water. It was awful, it looked horrible in there. Um, so I thought okay I've got, <laughs> I've got to clean that out. Um, because what was happening, I'd noticed anyway, with all the other um, brushes as well, they were all starting to get a little bit blocked. You know, the, the water wasn't flowing through them um, as it did when they were brand new. So I thought, okay, what I'm going to do is service all of them, get them all nice and clean and see if I can get them back to, you know, full working condition again. And I actually managed to do that and it's, and it's very, very simple to do. Okay, so what you've got to do... Um, Obviously, if you've left water in there, you're going to have to kind of clean this first, the, the water reservoir. Now, what I actually done was I rinsed it a few times, but I noticed it wasn't taking the algae off the sides. So I actually put bleach in there and I managed to get in there with a Q-tip and take the, all the algae off of the sides. Um, it's surprising how much comes off, even if they look clean. You, you get in there, you know, some of the others which looked, you know, nice and clean. You get in there with a Q-tip and then the end of the Q-tip looks black when you've taken it out. But what would be better if you've got one is one of those little tiny bottle brushes. You know, that if you can get something that will fit through that diameter, that would be, you know, probably a lot more efficient than a Q-tip because you have to kind of bend the Q-tip around a little bit and it's a bit awkward. But I did manage to do it. So the first thing is to get that nice and clean, get some bleach in there and then get it nice and rinsed out and then just leave it on the side to dry. Now this bit, let's take the cap off. This is the bit that gets blocked up. Now what you'll need to do is take all of this out to get in there to clean it. Um, and the best thing to do is, you see that black bit just there in between the clear plastic and the bristles, you've got to get hold of that. Put your thumb just there because you don't want to lose what's going to pop out of here in just a minute. So just put your finger over there, push that in, and you'll notice the first thing to fall out is this little valve just here. Now, it, the way you've got to try and remember which way round it goes in as well. You can see a little white dot on there, and on the other side, there's no white dot, but there is a little tiny opening. Can you see that? That goes up, so when you come to put that back, you must remember that that goes up and the white dot faces down when you're putting that back together. Okay, so we've got that piece out, and then the rest of it should just, he says, just come out. Let me just get the tweezers in there and just poke that through. There we go. You'll see that the bristles have probably been pushed back a little bit, probably been moved a little bit. But all you need to do is just push them through like that, and all the bristles come out. Don't worry about it falling apart. They're firmly glued at that end. You know they're not going to come apart at all so don't worry about that and so now you're left with these pieces here and this piece here now I'm just going to sh come back to this piece and show you this again now if you get a pin 
doing it the wrong way. If you get a pin in there, in that little tiny hole just there and push, you'll notice that the white thing comes out. Try not to lose that. So now you're left with five separate parts. Now what you'll need to do is get yourself a jar of water or a bowl of water or something. Um, warm water, cold water, didn't seem to make any difference. What I'd done, I actually put some bleach in there as well. Now, pro <laughs> probably some of you are thinking, oh no, you didn't put bleach in there, it's gonna destroy the bristles and everything. It won't, these are nylon bristles. It won't have any effects on them at all. It'll do them good, it'll give them a good clean. Um, so what you need to do is drop all of these in that water, let it soak for an hour or two. You know, let the, the bleach really go to work on all of this stuff. Um, and then take it out. I'm not gonna, you know, do it now. I've already cleaned this, so there's no need for me to drop it. I just wanted to show you that. And take it out and then put it on a, a piece of tissue and kind of let them dry a little bit. Oh, the same with that as well. Chuck that in there, get your bottle brush in there or your Q-tips as well and make sure that's free of algae and everything. Nice and clean. So you're gonna be left with these parts and you'll notice that this bit here has got some foam around it. Don't try and take that off or you'll damage it. It's very fragile. Um, and the bleach won't um, harm it either. I mean, it's gonna be good, you know, to get bleach in, inside there in that sponge because it's gonna kill the bacteria and probably slow down any regrowth of algae or anything like that. So make sure it's, you know, had a really good long soak in some bleachy water and then give it a bit of a rinse off if you want to, um, or better still, um, you can reassemble it, fill the water reservoir back up and just squeeze the water back through again. So once you've done all that, it's really easy now to reassemble it. Now it's all nice and clean. Just make sure the bristles are pointed up at the end. They'll still be wet actually. It's probably better to make sure these are pointed up and then if, if that dries out, I need to wet it again just to get them together. If that dries out, it'll dry in a nice point and you'll be able to push that back through there nice and easy without any of the bristles. Now you see, look, the bristles are kind of poking up a little bit. This is a bit of a tricky part, actually. Let me try and get them together again. That's it. Okay, and you've got to try and get it back down into there without any bristles poking up and then pull it through. and just drop that back into there again. Don't worry if you can't get it all the way through. It'll all get pushed down when we screw the water reservoir back on. Now this bit in here, make sure this is really clean because if any algae, you know, gets in this hole or around this little white plastic valve thing just here, it's gonna stop the flow of the water. So get your pin and have a good scrape around in there. Don't you know, reshape the plastic or anything. Just make sure it's nice and free from any debris or anything in there. And then it's a bit fiddly, but you've got to get this white thing back in there like that, pushed in. Now this is the key part. This is the important bit. When you push that white thing in, you can actually push it too far, too far back. It needs to be sitting right on the surface so you've got to kind of push it so it's flush with the surface. Now the best way to put this back in, I found, you can try and drop it in that way, but it, it kind of falls in at funny angles. It's hard to get it in straight. So the best way I found is just to actually put it back on top of the cap like that. Sorry, not on top of the cap, on top of the reservoir like that. And then get the cap Push that on and then once you screw everything together again, you'll notice that the bristles push out and that valve is now securely in place again and nothing's gonna fall out. That's nice and tight in there. Now going back to that little white valve that I was talking about, you need to get the pin again and just poke it. I can't see actually, the light's not good enough. There we go. And just poke it in that hole and just push down to make sure it's actually sitting right on top of the bristles, so it won't push down anymore. And that's gonna give you your best water flow. Okay, it's really important to remember that bit. 
and then fill that up with just clean cold water, screw that back on and to get rid of any kind of bleach residue that's left in there just give that a few squeezes and the water will start to flow nicely again just as it was when it was brand new. Okay, so that's how to clean out your water brushes. But the best thing to do is once you've used them and you know you're gonna put them away, always empty the water out because you will get algae building up in there eventually. And like I say, it's exactly the same for the Derwent brushes. Um, it just looks a little bit different in there, but it's exactly the same principle, the same kind of system. And you'll be able to restore your brushes back to new again. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.